Uh, what we're going to be doing today is I have some severe sleep issues, uh, mostly because I've taken a giant turbo and stuck it in a place that it wasn't designed to go. But it's awesome and boosts his life. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to cut up this hood. All right, yeah, so first things first, um, I kind of went ahead and drew out the, the general shape of my hood, obviously, and uh, kind of sketched down, they're, they're not you know, to size or scale or anything, but sketched down some general ideas of the design that I was looking for. And uh, I've got plenty of, I've got plenty of airflow um, coming through the front bumper. Uh, and being forced through the intercooler and the radiator. The only issue is all that hot air is being trapped in the engine bay um, and it has nowhere to go. So all we're trying to do is just vent or, or give that hot air some place to go. So yeah, I sketched out some designs and then uh, the fins, or I guess um, the portions of the hood that are gonna be cut out um, are gonna be about this size. It's personal preference. This is what I decided to go with. What we're gonna do is Lay all those out, figure how far down you want to go on the hood, and uh, cut it out of a big template. So what I, what I did was I cut it out of like a cereal box. Um, I could have done it out of cardboard, but this is, this is easier to work with. And it gives me, it's, it's enough to give me what I need uh, without being too bulky and, um, and too rigid. So uh, yeah, this worked out perfect for me. So I went ahead and cut, out, cut it out this bleh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Uh, I already measured it up on the hood to see where exactly I wanted to place it. All that's really left to do is uh, take down the area that we're going to, to cut into and start cutting. The only issue I foresee is your hood's got you know reinforcement, it's got the, the underhood skeleton giving the hood rigidity, which is a good thing. A floppy hood would be a bad thing. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to effectively cut these all the way through to the engine bay without getting blocked by, by the skeleton pieces or the, the underside of the hood without completely ruining the structural integrity of the, of the hood. Obviously cutting into it is going to do that a little bit anyways, but <laughs> I refuse to pay for a carbon fiber hood uh, because the only reason I would do that is for weight reduction. I wouldn't just do it because it looked cool. Um, and that aluminum hood is, is extremely light. So the only benefit would be cooling ducts on a carbon fiber hood. And there's no reason, in my personal opinion, I know there's people out there uh, that go out and buy you know, nice carbon fiber hoods, and if you have the money, more power to you. I, however, am broke because of that fucking car. So I opted for this option, which is venting the hood yourself. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tape up the hood and I'll take you guys with me and try and film as much as I possibly can. It is pretty late though. It's already like fucking eight o'clock. We probably won't be able to do any cutting tonight, but I can at least mock it up and give a general idea of, of what we're looking at. So, yeah. So let's see if we can find some sort of regular cleaning product just to wipe down the hood. Um, and then we're gonna use uh, scotch tape or painter's tape that we can actually trace the stencil onto. The car is wrapped. I don't want the wrap to tear along the edges where I'm actually going to be cutting. This will kind of help prevent that. So, Let's see what we got. Anything good? Fuck no. Damn it. Windex? No Windex? Man, we are fucking hurting. Windex, clean the hood. I uh, went ahead and wiped down the hood already. So uh, now it's time to lay on some tape. All right, yeah, so like I said, you can use uh, blue painter's tape or um, whatever this shit is called. Painter's tape, that's, that's what I'm gonna call it. And then you just go ahead and lay it down. All right guys, that's one done. Let me grab you and show you what it looks like. All right, so nothing special. It's literally just an area we're just gonna draw on. So 
all of that's really doing is just obviously protecting the wrap or paint from whatever marker or expo or chalk or whatever you want to use. You only draw on those areas and then you cut out on the line helps to keep the wrap um, from peeling back from peeling back on the actual line. So let's get our template on there and uh, see what we're looking at. All right guys, so I had to charge my camera because it was dying. And as you can see, I was working on the video uh, while I was charging. So you went back in time, or I guess you are back in time. Anyways, uh, so I kind of finished up the stencil. Uh, let's go check this shit out. All right, so this is what we ended up with. So I'm not sure how well on the camera you guys will be able to make that out. It's nothing super special. It'll be just enough. And I'm thinking what I'll probably do is mirror it on this side. It's gonna look epic. But yeah, that'll be the first video, second video. I have no idea when I'm gonna put it up, but when I do, it'll be going over actually cutting into the hood and uh, the end results. So, till then, 